Are you looking to build a PC in 2019? <laughs> well, you've come to the right place because times have changed, the ways we build PCs have changed, and this tutorial is going to revolutionize PC building forever. Welcome back to CompTV, a place you can go for all things tech. I'm Lee, and in 2016, I made a how to build a PC guide, but it is 2019. The times have changed. It's time for a refresh. It's time for an update, but it's not just any refresh. It's not just any update. I'm going to let it speak for itself. Let's do it. And it's that simple. You just click the button and everything else is done for you. But just in case you don't know how to read or it's just too much for you, <laughs> I'll do it for you. In this tutorial, you will learn about the main components of a PC and how they go together. Awesome. First, we will need to remove the side panels of the case so we can install the components inside. Let's do it. Mmm. So this is a case. You're going to need a case if you're going to build a computer. This one is a nice one. Looks like it's tempered glass. Cooler master case. Nice. nice. Remove side case. Do I just click it? So you just click and hold the side panel of your case and it's that easy. All right, now what? Click and hold to remove. Oh, I need to remove the other side panel. Of course, of course, I'm pretending. I'm just pre putting myself in your shoes. All right, I, I already know how to do this. Great, next up we will install the power supply which provides the power to all the components. It lives behind the PSU mount which needs to be removed. Okay, before you can install the PSU, you have to remove this. I mean, again, it's that easy. You just click and hold components and they disassemble for you. Guys, 2019, click hold to unscrew screws. You don't even need power tools, you just need this. You see this? That's all you need. And you also need a mouse. If you don't have a mouse, then you're just gonna be awkwardly pointing at your screen. It's it's just gonna be a mess. I mean, unless you have a touch screen. All right, what's this? What? All right, well, hopefully you have a random inventory in this Tron grid, and here you go. I'm getting the PSU. Do I click and hold it? I click it. Modular ports. Oh, snap, fully modular? This is some high-end PC building, people. 2019, high-end PC building. We don't play games on the CompTV channel. So for this power supply, or in any case of any component, all you have to do is click install. And then you click on your case where your PC component is. Done. And it's that easy. Do you guys see this? Anyone can build a computer. Your grandma can build a computer. Your child can build a computer. 2019. All right, let's go. Now I need to click hold to install the PSU mount. Done. Easy. Do I have to screw these shut? I don't even have to hover over the button. Look, I'm way off. At the heart of the PC is the motherboard and all of the major components connect to it. Man, motherboards, yes. All right, click again. Hopefully you have this cool Tron inventory sitting around. This is the motherboard, looks like this. This is the central nervous system of the computer. Didn't think you were gonna be getting a medical lesson, did you? This is, hey, here at CompTV, we spare no expense. We're teaching you multiple things at once. All right, cool, so it actually explains all the parts. That's really cool, all right. RAM, this is your short-term memory, CPU socket, this is where the brain of the computer goes. Your I.O. ports are going to be where you actually plug in your peripherals and your monitor and usually audio equipment. Your chipset, PCI slots where you plug in your graphics card and any other PCI things you might have. The standoffs are going to hold the motherboard off of the case so it doesn't short circuit and cause big damage problems. The CMOS battery is used by the motherboard to remember its settings when it has no power. That's pretty cool. Your front panel headers, this is absolutely the worst part of PC building. Hands down, no question. And your SATA ports. All right, cool. Let's install this bad boy. And again, you click. Oh, I, you have to put the motherboard standoffs, right, guys? You don't want your PC short-circuiting causing a giant explosion in your apartment, all right? This is not the kind of summer you want to have right now. Boom. Done. Seriously? This is kind of cool. I'm wondering if there's a brand somewhere on here. Tool list. Tool list. Have you heard of a tool list installation for a case before? You buy a tool list case, you don't even need to worry about that. I, don't, I haven't even touched a tool. Look, I'm just clicking cables. Hands free, cable free, PCs. I mean, the PCs probably free. Front panel connectors. Remember how I said the front panel connectors were the hardest part? I'm already done. Building a computer is so easy. 2019. Okay. CPU, where are you at? Oh snap. You got the processor. It's a chip that does all the calculations of the computer. You have the heat plate. This is what helps distribute the heat across the CPU die so that you can plug in a cooler and dissipate that heat. And then the pins. These are the things that you're gonna to wanna to step on on the ground so you have to spend hours and hours trying to peel them back. That's only a PGA socket. All right, install. Boom, open the shield, of course. You pop in the CPU. Done, close the lid. that easy apply thermal paste all right so what you're gonna want to do here is just absolutely pour it out like think hot dog 
Think adding ketchup to the hot dog. Think when you're lathering on that sunscreen during the hot summer days in order to prevent sunburn, that's what you're gonna wanna do with the thermal paste, all right? All snap, stock cooler. This is to make sure that when you overclock, your CPU doesn't last very long. You don't wanna have your CPU forever, right? Who wants to have something that they spend a lot of money on actually last a while? You're gonna wanna use a stock cooler, overclock your CPU like crazy in absolutely half its lifespan. It's the only thing that makes sense. All right, let's install this bad boy. Oh, it looks like they use the P method. All right, I approve. It's not as good as the hot dog method, depending on uh, who you ask but whatever do i actually have to turn this Ooh, oh my goodness toolless entry fam toolless entry wait how long do i have to is this actually doing anything or is it just letting me change the orientation oh changing the airflow i want the airflow to go that way right i have no idea what this is doing click hold to connect cables all right well i don't know what i just did there but hey 2019 people am i right smash like and put a comment below if if you're loving 2019 the next important component is the graphics processing unit. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you spend a lot of money on a GPU because you wanna run all your games at the maximum settings. Am I right? You have your GPU, you have your fan and heatsink, you have the PCI connector. If you want more than one, look, there's a little slot for that. Dual GPUs, let's go. All right, install. All you have to do to install a graphics card is to open up your case, click and hold, unscrew the screw, click and hold again, and your graphics card is installed. You're gonna wanna add that screw. Honestly, that screw is probably optional if you think about it. Now, the next most important part is your RAM. Thanks again, Tron, for all these parts. This is a PC building simulator exclusive stick of RAM install. You're gonna wanna undo those tabs. All you gotta do is click on them. Boom, and the last major component is the hard disk drive. Oh, snap, Mort Morton hard drive. Oh snap, 64 megabytes of cash. Let's go. Install, click and hold, toolless entry, 2019. Click to connect the power, click to connect the SATA. Additional cooling, that's the last step, right? You wanna have as many fans as possible unless you wanna house fire, it's up to you. Case fan, screws, click and hold. Now we just need to replace all the covers to protect all those delicate components. Click and hold, click and hold. Turn on the PC, this is the last. This is the final, this is the most important step. You've put in all the hard work. You've spent all your hard earned money. You've screwed in all those screws with those hard clicking maneuvers that have probably given you carpal tunnel to some extent. Now is the moment of truth. Was it all worth it? Was your money worth it? Was your effort worth it? Were the components worth it? Are they even compatible? That's the question. Now's the time to hit that glorious PC Master Race power button. Oh wait, I have to put these in first. Plug in your peripherals. Again, click and hold. Is this a USB? Is my keyboard? Plug in the keyboard, let's go. All right, here we go. Now is the actual moment of truth. Did it boot? I think it booted. Well, there you have it, the ultimate PC building guide of 2019. This noise, this noise, these fan noises. I don't think Linus would approve. Can I turn this down? Oh, thank goodness. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned something new. If you like tech content videos like this, go ahead and follow the Tech Fam subreddit and hit subscribe below. That's the best way to find similar content creators like me and also to find new videos like this. If you learned how to build a computer, smash the like button. Go ahead and leave me a comment below letting me know what you learned, what you didn't even know. Is there something? I learned some stuff today. Look, I'm being honest. There was a lot of stuff I didn't know that I just learned today in this video. Was this video for you or for me? I can't even tell at this point, but all I know is it's 2019, the times have changed and I'm super pumped for content just like this. We're gonna see more, this isn't it, trust me. Follow me on Twitter, join the Discord, and don't forget to subscribe to that Tech Fam subreddit where me and everyone else on the Tech Fam regularly interact and come up with new cool, fun video ideas and interact with the community. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you haven't left a thumbs up, do it already and I think that pretty much wraps it up. Oh, and in case you didn't know, I'm Lee from CompTV.